Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nathan here. I haven't been posting any videos in a long time. I want to give you guys an update video on what's been going on in the shop and what I have been up to. Um, so the first thing is that I've renovated the shop a little bit. It's similar to before, but what we have done is we built a room back here for storage. Before there was just a wall here with custom shelving and some tables and a cabinet. There, those things are still here, but let's go in this room and I'll show you what's in here. It's a little bit messy right now because we're still getting things back together. So in here is where all the storage is going to be. So none of that will be out here if it's not necessary. Keep things clean out on the floor. And then uh, here's the area where we're putting a toilet. This is what happens when you hire people. You need to have a toilet for them. It's part of regulations. Yo, Frank. What up? What's up, man? Swen? Anyways, um... Oh, yeah, that's... This is Frank. He's been working for me for a few weeks. Say what up, Frank. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, the bike ride... The bike ride gets me ready before work. Oh yeah. To get a nice sweat in. Look at all that sweat, man. And up here is going to be where our workstations are. Not completely finished, obviously. Table for our engineer. And here's my desk. And all of this is just temporary right now. That's where we're at in the shop. We got this upper level, this mezzanine built up. Uh, where we can do work on the computers. We got an engineer working for me. Um, that's my table over there. We got Frank down there. He's a floor guy. He's a general fabricator. And uh, <laughs> that's where we're at with the shop right now. Got to get this upstairs. Did a little bit of garbage picking. Saw this on the side of the street. It's still in good condition. It's a metal cabinet. We're gonna use this as uh, Tumen's desk. Tumen is the engineer, because the desk he's on is pretty janky right now. So, uh, free 99 ain't bad. So we're gonna get this upstairs. I think we have brackets, you know, those, in those little drawers I have. I have some, some L brackets. You have some, uh, uh, uh some self drilling screws. Um, this part is accurate. Um, this part, there's multiple ways we could do it. We could do a suspension system or something down here. Mm -hmm. um, Did you measure this on the bike or no? This? The suspension part? No, I didn't measure this no? part. Did you get the full length of it though? I used your uh, this thing. Okay, so that's just like generic. Yeah. Work on this part right here where you, where it's supposed to transition over the gooseneck. How is this going to transition? Because it's, cut, it's wider over here mm -hmm. and then it's thinner right here. So how is it going to transition? Because it's going to go like this and it's going to go wide out like that. So I have to fix fix this, but this is supposed to be a straight line. Okay. Um, well, I think that should yeah that should be straight. It yeah. shouldn't over it shouldn't over out like that, or it shouldn't be wide wider over here than over there. Oh, so you're saying this 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 part should be thinner? So yeah, it should so match. So it's straight. It, yeah, it should match that. Okay. Can you do a 360 of the of the entire bike with the wheels and everything? This bottom part is straight, that means this, this part is going to take the room down here. All right, 
Alright, so it's towards the end of the day and uh, Two Men and Frank has left. So for the projects, Two Men and me are designing a e-bike. We're going to make a prototype out of it. The e-bike is electric, runs on 48 volts or 36 volts. We haven't decided what type of uh, powertrain it is. Um, we want to design our own motor because as of now, there's no motor that is going to be slim or have a slim profile that we can use on the e-bike because we want the frame to still be as slim as possible just like a regular bike would be. The e-bikes want to have some pretty cool features. Um, one feature I think is going to be awesome is it's going to have pegs that fold out when the rider wants to have a passenger on the bike so the passenger can stand on the pegs um, and it automatically folds out. It's going to have an LCD screen with a graphic interface. There are some other cool features that I'm going to have. Um, you guys are just going to have to wait and see for the e-bike. But hopefully we can get the prototype done. And by prototype, I mean the actual physical bike uh, done before the year ends. Let's see. We have a CNC machine that we're building specifically for machining aluminum and some steel. Uh, we're going to need that to build our, our prototype e-bike. I already have the hardware for it. We have all the steel. I just need to buy the spindle. I need to buy the CNC kit. And uh, we can put it together and start machining metal. It's going to use lubricant. And uh, so that's another project that I'm doing. Oh yeah, and uh, the G35 project. The design is pretty much complete and I'm very happy with it. I want to show you guys what the G35 design looks like right now. You got to tell me if you like it or you don't like it. Give me give me a rating, you know? Zero or 1 to 10, you know? If it's a 7, if it's a 5, if it's a if it's a 2, let me know. You now I need some feedback. All right, let's open it up and let's see where we are with the design for the G35. And I've been working on this version for about a year. It's mostly complete. I just have to remodel everything so that the surfaces are good. I'm, I'm really excited to start building this. It's gonna take a little bit of work to make the, the panels, but uh, that's where we are with this G35 project. All for that car out there. It looks terrible. It look terrible right now. Jeez. I'm pretty excited about mm, taking this to the next step and fabricating the body for it. Because I've fabricated a lot of bodies. I've, I haven't once fabricated a body for myself in my own project. So it's about time. It's about time. So uh, that's it for the G35 design. As you can see, it's mostly complete. I think it looks beautiful. Tell me what you think about it. Um, and yeah, and that's gonna wrap up the day for me and the Inspire Automotive Garage. I'm gonna pack up and head home. And you know what? That's not it for me, because when I head home, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish up modeling the G35 kit. But uh, my time here in the shop for today is done. I hope you guys like the build out. I have to put railings right here. Very dangerous, Someone, if someone trips, they're gonna fall on the CNC machine. I can't have anyone messing up my CNC machine. I don't care about people injuring themselves. Got, gotta take care of the CNC, gotta, gotta put some railings to protect it, you know. Tumen desk, he just got this today. This is a, this is a this is an engineering desk. This is this is like the desk that uh, people that worked at NASA in the 90s used to have. That's legit right there. Then uh, I just put this table over here for Frank if he wants to come up here. We're gonna get a computer for him because he wants to learn how to 3D model. And I think um, it shouldn't be too hard to teach him how to teach him the basics. And then here's my my workstation. The, the best thing about this is that I got the radio. 
I could listen to music. It's awesome. I'll, I'm intending to keep this shop space, but I'm also intending to expand somewhere to get a bigger shop because as of now, right now, it's just too small to do big things. You know what I mean? I mean, I've been doing big things in here for a while, but I mean, really, really, really big things. And uh, to do big things, I need big machines and I need more people and, and uh, I need more space. So uh, this space here, I'm going to keep. This is the Inspire Automotive garage as of now. We got our desk up there, we got an engineer, we got a fabricator, and uh, let's see where we can go. I'll see you guys next time.